Buckled up, boys. Welcome guys, welcome to the first official video of the channel. I'm actually quite excited to start recording videos. I've been on the fence for a long, long time with regards to whether I record or not, and I've always chosen not to. You know, a couple of seasons have come and gone and I've done pretty well in those seasons. And I look back now and, you know, there's a lot of uh, footage that I've really missed in those seasons. And it would have been awesome footage. You know, I've caught a lot of big fish over the last couple of years. And hoo big boy. Out here chasing mackerel. I'm not going to complain with an absolute stonk of a uh, dewy. Look at that. Look at the size of this thing. You know, it's a decent fish when it doesn't even fit in the kill bag. It's about the end of my rig. Um, you know, managing it off a jet ski is quite an interesting process. So um, I think that's half of the fun of watching um, a clip catching fish off a jet ski. So I thought I might as well start recording videos and uh, start getting a bit of content out there. Not so much to get a following or anything like that, just so I can look back at a couple of years and uh, look back at a few cool clips. Um, and now that I've bought into the whole process, I am really quite excited to start getting some content out. And uh, I guess I'll put a bit of content on YouTube as a bit of a byproduct um, of my enjoyment of the sport, obviously. That's always the first and uh, foremost priority. It's uh, going through the process and weighing up you know whether I want to start recording or not um, a big part of the whole puzzle piece was actually not losing the love for fishing itself and I think that's quite important and the last thing I want to do is start fishing for a purpose or start fishing for people who are waiting on clips or you know feel really bad if I come out and I don't get anything because I don't have content you know that's not the purpose of this um, as I say, it's just a byproduct of me fishing um, and whatever happens, happens and I'll put out a bit of content. I've noticed a massive increase over the last couple of years with regards to interest in jet ski fishing. Um, and I hope I can serve as a bit of a point of information for a lot of you guys who are looking at getting into it because it is quite a difficult prospect. Um, you know, there's a lot going on when you get a good fish off a ski. Um, and you know, if I can give anyone a bit of an insight as to how to navigate that whole process, I'm more than happy to do that. So um, yeah, I, I really just hope it's resourceful for you. I hope it's a point of information. Um, and I really love helping guys get their, get their first fish. I really show some people, you know, that you can fish well off a ski. Um, when I first started getting into fishing off a ski, you know, there were a lot of people who, you know, come to me at the ramps and uh, say, you know, you can't get big fish off a ski or whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, I like to think that I've caught, you know, a few big fish. And um, I always hope those people are back at the ramp when I get back to sort of, you know, show them that, you know, good fishing can be done from anywhere. Um, you know, you don't have to have a six meter boat to fish well. It, you know, fishing off a ski is a lot more accessible for people. I'm just excited to showcase, you know, what sort of fishing can be done for ski. We're getting to the point um, of the year now where I'll start prospecting a little bit for black marlin. Um, you know, that's always quite fun off a ski and, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll go into the mackerel season, um, always get a, good, a few good fish with that. Um, and pretty much, I'm based on the Gold Coast, but fish anywhere from Jumping Pin all the way down through to northern New South Wales. So, um, you know, the Gold Coast is a fantastic fishery. There's a lot of people who think differently. Um, and I'm just hoping to showcase that uh, through a few of my clips. A lot of my fishing will be done offshore. Uh, you know, this is probably not going to be a channel where you'll see me fishing in the lakes or fishing in the estuaries a whole lot. Um, I do like to target pelagic fish, I do like to target bigger fish out at sea, um, I find a lot of enjoyment in that, I don't really even bother too much over winter, um, with the, the winter species I really do like to target pelagic fish, so we're just coming into the summer season now, um, it's been a little bit disappointing so far, you know, the hopes of a uh, early start to the pelagic season have sort of been stomped out, we've had a northerly pumping here on the Gold Coast for the last three weeks, three, four weeks probably, um, with very few southerlies in between. 
um, and as a result of that the water is very cold very green um, which obviously doesn't uh, facilitate great pelagic fishing so anyway it might be a little bit of a later start to the season but we'll be ready and waiting when it, when it does happen but yeah that's about the summary of, of why i've got into it and um, why i'm starting to record videos so i really hope you guys do like the clips um, it's going to be quite an interesting process. I mean, I'm, I'm not a videographer or cinematographer by any means, so uh, it will be a bit of uh, trial and error to begin with, but I'm looking forward to the process. I'm looking forward to learning something new. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go this summer. Cheers, guys.